in this I'm going to be looking at horror film posters. I'm going to be breaking down the poster of Jaws. As you all know, this poster is very iconic. Um, before the film was even released, this poster was getting so much publicity, and I think that helped towards the success of the film. So there's a correlation there of if you had a good poster, more people are likely to go watch the film, which again argues that posters are not obsolete. Um, but yeah, this was very iconic for its time. Um, action showed in the poster itself, and it was it wasn't seen as much, um, and it stood out very well in, in any cinema. First thing you notice is the big red title of Jaws. That's one of the main things which stands this poster right out is you've got the title at the very top above the shark, which really helps for building the tension of the poster. Um, it, it is missing a tagline, but back then taglines weren't a massive thing on film posters, so that's understandable. Just below the title, you can see the actors' names again using Star Theory, which incorporates people who have known the actors and who know his previous film about actors are more likely to watch the film because it's starring them actors. Um, and again, they hold a very big part there because there's not much text on the poster anyway. The title and the director and then the actors and then an award. I think they stand out massively because of that. So less is more in this sense. On the right, you can see that they have an award. Um, this is basically advertising that the film's been previously watched and by, by critics, and they gave the film an award. So um, a lot of short films do this if they go to short film festivals. Um, so again, this adds more of a expectation for the film, and everyone's thinking it's won an award, it must be good. And again, that gets more people to watch the film when it comes out. At the bottom of the page, you can see the Institute and the Director. They're incorporated into one area, which, again, I think stopped a little bit of the argument that the director is the author of the film and the person who creates the film, as whereas Spielberg was one to say it's more as everyone as a whole. So it's got the company, it's got the director, it's got the cinematographer there, which all had a big role in creating this film. That's something that Spielberg was strongly powered, that it wasn't just him, it was everyone. And lastly, looking at the structure of this poster, this was one of the main films that seen the iconic birth of the um, triangle view. Again, you can see there's two triangles incorporated into it, which show that it points, almost points to the information and displays the information in a triangle, which apparently helps us interpret the information better through our vision.